Zero to Web Hero in under 40 minutes. This video clip demonstrates the incredible speed and ease with which you can make and upload an 8 page website from nothing. Firstly, we open the Duty Proof software and start the system in the normal way. After the login, we enter the name of our brand new website. Whatever we call it will appear as the title on all the site pages once it has been made. We will call it Fast Site. We will click the Choose Site link. Now is a good time to demonstrate some of the interface features of this system. The style and colour of the system menus can be easily customised. Any styles you create will also be available through this mechanism. In a matter of seconds you can alter the complete look and feel of the system. Now we will return to the site we have just created. Choosing the site takes us to the content area. This is a section where you may create new site pages, choose which pages to edit and actually edit them. You can also upload graphics and other media for use anywhere within your site. But firstly we need to create a new page. At this point we will introduce another interface element of our system. There are a number of life belt images with question marks in them. These are toggle switches which hide and show the on-screen help text, as demonstrated here. The individual sections of help text can be opened up individually, but closing one will close them all. This makes the system much easier to use when the information is repetitive. If the hide help button is clicked on the top left hand side of the page, the system will ensure that all of the help text sections are collapsed unless their logo is clicked. Clicking on the show help button will turn the help text back on so that the help text is shown fully expanded as shown here. We will now start to create our website pages. The system will force WebSafe naming conventions for the short web page name. As you can see in the page information block at the bottom of the page, the short page name has been made lowercase. We will now make our second page. We'll call this one 2. Then another one called 3. The short page name helps make up the URL for the pages. In our next page we will intentionally forget to enter a short page name. The system will automatically enter a numerical record. Which as you can see here is 4. We will do this a few more times. The continual scrolling due to the help text is getting to be a bit awkward and it is getting in the way of our work, so we will turn it off. This makes the interface much easier to use which will continue making pages. Now that we have created 8 pages we should edit them and put something in them. A totally unedited page is normally indicated by a large red question mark. We shall now edit page 1. If you can use a word processor, you should be quite comfortable using the page editor. If you triple click on a line of text, it will select the complete line. Here we are entering the text page 1 content. We will make it a heading. Again we triple click it and select heading 1. We are 
adding the text page one text. We can change the appearance of text by using the pull down styles from the second drop down menu. As is normal, to save the document we click the floppy disk icon in the top left of the editor. The page is not fully saved until the activity indicator in the lower right of the browser window stops displaying activity. Now it has been saved, we can close the window and begin to edit page 2, where we will repeat a similar process. We are entering the text page 2 content, followed by page 2 text. Again, we make the first line of text a heading and decide to put an image in the page by clicking on the image icon. Here you can see the options available to you. The image can be moved around quite easily. Occasionally you may confuse a line of text. This is very simple to re-edit. You simply select all of the text that is affected, select clear styles from the style menu and the text is once again editable as a whole. Again we save the page and watch the activity monitor in the lower right hand corner of the screen. When the page has saved we can close the window. You will notice how there is now a page preview in place of the question mark for page 1. There is also a padlock shown for page 2. This is to stop the page being edited in two different windows at the same time. If you observe the bars at the lower left of the screen, you will see the load that the processors are placed under when we carry out any activity with our system. This is a feature of the operating system and not the Duty Crew software. A short period after the page editing window is closed, the page refreshes and the page is once again unlocked and displaying a preview of its content. The pages have been created with a default green text. For our purposes this is not suitable. We will therefore amend our site's look and feel by using the site style link. This section is where we can amend category, menu and content styles. We can also add background images, banner logos and banner backgrounds. Styles are created and saved using the style link at the top left hand side of the page. If we load the style from our site named Fast Site, we can see all the style features that are available to it. We can import menu styles, category styles and content styles. We can also preview them all here. Here we will test the DC Green menu style. We can carry out a similar process with the categories. These are the horizontal bars going across the page. Again we will try a green theme. This theme does actually go with the default content style quite well but it is not the effect we are after. For now we will leave it as it is and investigate banner images and background images. Firstly we will disable the default Duty Crew banner logos by selecting none. Then we will save this style as the default system style. If we go back to the appearance setup page, we can check this by loading the fast site style from the existing site styles menu. As we can see, the style is exactly as expected. However, we are going to use a totally different style. We will select Duty Crew Standard for the menu style. We will use Default Standard for the category style. And we will use Default Content for the content style. After we have done this, you will see that there has been a substantial change in appearance. 